Hey everybody, TJ Leasley, and welcome back to WooBox Training. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Instagram tab for your Facebook fan page. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. Okay, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the fan page that I want this to go on because I really don't use my Instagram feed for uh, business. It's mostly just a place for me to share photos with friends, but I know a lot of businesses out there do use Instagram, especially if you're in fashion, uh, many other reasons to use Instagram for business. So let me show you how to attach this to your fan page, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here and change the fan page from Timeline Master Course to my Click mouse test fan page. All right, great. So uh, on the test fan page here, you can see uh, we do not have Instagram hooked up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click the Instagram tab. And then I'm going to come over here and where it says add an Instagram tab. We'll go ahead and click that. All right, so the first thing is, guys, you have to enter in your username. So I'm going to enter mine in. And then the next thing here, it's uh, frequent updates again. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect this to Instagram so that uh, they can go ahead and pull the photos for you. So you go ahead and hit connect, and then you want to hit authorize. So here you get to decide what kind of photos you want to show up in the tab, okay? So right now it's set on my photos, which means visitors to your page tab will see your most recent photos, okay? Or you can go ahead and click this here, and let's say if you have a hashtag that you use for your business, you can go ahead and use the hashtag, and it will pull all the photos for that, all right? But for this particular instance, we're just going to use it in my photo, and we're not going to put a fan gate on this, and we're going to hit Save Settings. All right, so now over here, tab settings again, we're going to come here. Okay, guys, so as you can see, they do not currently have right now a default image for Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use one that I have used, see if I can find it here, for business. Okay, so I do have one here that I have custom made, and I'm going to go ahead and choose that. And then uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and name the tab. So I'm going to say uh, Instagram. And then I'm going to go ahead and save settings. Okay, great. So now I'm going to go down to stats. So what's really cool about uh, Woobox is they're going to go ahead and track your visitors to this particular uh, tab. Okay, so you can see what kind of traffic or what kind of stuff is showing up for you here. So uh, that's this is the stats area. And then uh, the next one here is the preview mode. Again, if you uh, are building this out and you're not ready to publish it, you can go ahead and turn preview mode on. And all that really means is only page admins can see tab content. All right, but as of now, we're going to go ahead and make this public on our test page and hit save settings. Okay, great. So then you have if you wanted to add another Instagram tab or if you wanted to remove app. Okay, if you ever wanted to remove an app uh, from this particular fan page, this is where you would go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here to view Facebook tab. But you know what's interesting is this image is not showing up. So I'm going to go see what has occurred. Okay, great. So as you can see, guys, here is my photos of my uh, Instagram, and here it is uh, showing up now within our ClickMouse uh, test page. And again, one of my favorite features for WooBox, whether you're using any of their custom tabs, uh, is their follow buttons, and they do have them on all of them. All right, great, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here and see... Okay, good. So do you remember how in the software I said that the image did not show, but as you can see, it did show up here, and I just custom made this in Pixelmator. Again, it's, uh, I believe, 111 by 74 pixels. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's an easy way to install Instagram. So if you have a fan page and anybody that comes into your fan page and wants to see your Instagram, they can click on it, and it loads up, and they can see all of your photos and then again they can go ahead and start following you on Instagram which is great because now you're gonna get um, them on more than one of your lists okay so they're gonna move over from your Facebook fan page list over to your Instagram list alright guys that's all I have for this video again my name is TJ Leasley and I look forward to seeing you in the next training video